Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about my Dr. Martens collection. I have somehow gathered one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pairs of Dr. Martens shoes in the past 10 years, I'd say. I think I bought my first pair 10 years ago. Um, so this is definitely not something that you need to try and accumulate in a very short time span because um, they can be quite expensive depending on which pairs you get and where you get them. I find that especially here in the Netherlands, Dr. Martens can be a little bit more expensive than when you, for instance, get them in the UK. And I think we should just start with the first pair I ever bought. This is the 1460 in a cherry red color. Uh, these are the traditional standard Dr. Martin. These took ages to break in. I think I've only started finding these comfortable like in the past two or three years or so. And these were the ones that I bought back in like 2010, I'd say, maybe 11. I'm not sure. I've had these for a very long time. I still wear them. I don't always wear them all that much, but I love wearing them in the winter time because they keep your feet nice and warm and dry uh, when it's very rainy or snowy or anything like that. However, I also have a pair of designated snow boots. Uh, let, let me just get those out of the way. So these are also Dr. Martens, um, but I'm not sure if you can see that. These are lined. The entire shoe is lined with like a faux, like, sheepskin type of fabric. Um, so it, it's not real wool, I know that much, and it's definitely around the foot area. It's definitely worn down quite a bit, but these are my warmest pair of shoes. They don't have any laces, um, so there are no gaps, so no moisture can get in this. I wear these when it snows uh, because of the uh, sturdy bottoms. You don't slip and slide around when it's very, very icy as well. These are just some great, great shoes when it gets really cold and wet and gross outside. Um, these also need a clean, so I'm sorry if you can see all these like splashes on them, but that's because I only wear them like two weeks in the entire year, because that's when we have that kind of weather, even though today it's nice and sunny, so you wouldn't say it. Um, but yeah, in a few months time, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to be busting these out again uh, and uh, wear them because these are my warmest pair of shoes. They're not necessarily my most worn shoes, though. I, I think in terms of most worn, these ones, uh, I believe these are 14, yeah, these are the 1461, and these are, again, standard, but they are the black shoe version. After having so much trouble breaking in the higher ones, the 1416s, I decided when I wanted a black pair to go with the lower ones, because they don't have the shaft at the top. It just, the part of the shoe that was most difficult for me to break in was the shaft at the back around your ankle, especially where my ankle sort of bends. I would always like have blisters and like bleeding and it was just a mess. Since this shoe doesn't have it, I was able to break these in a lot easier. Uh, um, yeah, a lot easier than the other ones and these have been with me for again a couple of years i wear them especially in the fall and winter time when i want a very sturdy nice shoe as you can see at the toes here they need a little bit of tlc they need a little bit of loving um, but i do clean my shoes every summer uh, i have another pair of uh, 1460s um, but these are the patent leather ones so when i fell in love with those black ones so much i decided to get these and these are nice and shiny these are my other favorite ones these are also, I think, ladies only, so these are not unisex, which means they're a bit more narrow around the foot here, so they are a little bit more painful that way, and also a little bit more difficult to, uh, to actually uh, break in, because the other ones are full leather, but because the, this is a patent, it has a plastic in it, so it's not as easy to stretch them out as the other ones, but I love wearing these black ones with skirts and dresses, and especially like to like make a very girly outfit a little less girly. I love those. So then I had two pairs of black ones and then I decided 
I need a brown ones too because I love them. So these are, I'm not sure what these are called anymore. These are also 1460 ones, but these are the PW. And I believe that PW stands for this being a vegan leather. So these aren't real leather. Um, I also do not wear these much in the fall and winter time. I like wearing browns and tans a lot in the spring and summertime. So I definitely bought these to be more in, in line with that. Um, these are a little bit big, which is why they have in, inlays in them, because my foot kind of slides around in these. Um, they are very soft, very stretchy, very comfortable, like straight away. I didn't even have to break them in. Uh, another pair of brown ones that I have are these. These are the, what are these called again? These are the Charlotte, and I think they only did this for like a year. And they're like a brogue style shoe. They're all like brogues and oxfords, of course. But this has like the nice sort of like laser cutout running along it. Um, these are again more of a feminine shoe because they have the more pointy toe. And they don't have, just like the other brown ones, they don't have the iconic yellow stitching as well. So when you see these, you don't think, oh, those are Dr. Martens, but they actually are. I love wearing these again with skirts and dresses in the springtime especially. And then, last but not least, my newest pair of Dr. Martens, yay! I decided to cave and buy a high pair in the black because I felt I didn't really have a black, like, higher booty that was lace-up and that could give that, like, more, like, army vibe. These are the, these are a special type, hold on. Oh, it doesn't say in here. I believe these are called the Heart Life. So these are unisex, but they have a much more like softer leather, so they're a lot more comfy, like straight off the bat. These were a little bit more expensive, I have to say as well because of that, but this leather has just been treated to be a little bit more subtle, uh, supple and not so like tough, uh, but they're still a very durable boot. So that is my uh, Dr. Martin collection. I really hope you like this new installment of my shoe collection. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and I would love for you to subscribe to my channel because I make new videos twice a week on Thursday and Sunday and yeah 5 a.m. Central European time that's when I upload so I would love to see you in my next video bye <laughs>